Hello everybody, welcome back to another how to tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how to use you know blackbox.ai on web browser. So what is blackbox AI? You know, if you're looking for like an AI power tool that helps you code directly from your web browser, then blackbox AI is for you. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to use blackbox AI on your browser to generate and extract and optimize code. So let's get started. So step one, accessing black blackbox AI in your browser. You can just look it up, blackbox.ai. You just go to Google and you just type black box black box there we go ai then just gonna click on it then you will be on the website then it's gonna sign uh ask you to sign up or log in if you already have an account but i just use my gmail account so that's pretty good um so we're gonna use the ai code search so once login you will see like a scroll bar or something wait hold up this is the we're gonna go to the new chat this is my old chat right here so as you here you know this is the search bar there so it will generate code snippet to explanation if you type like a prompt and copy the copy paste the code into your project like let's try it now so I, I already did it so i asked it for how do i sort an array in python using bubble sort algorithm then after that it uh i paste it and it uh taught for a bit on how to do that so uh, the prompt that i uh inputted uh it uh, first you know uh got the logic first and actually outputted the code so that's pretty good now you go to your you know any ide so i use uh, my vs code and i just paste it you can also use uh, black box directly here on your vs code if you like but you know i'm using it uh, i'm using we're using the web browser today because i already covered this in another video so you know i run the code and, I, and it works fine because this bubble sort right here so it sorted the numericals from least to highest so that's pretty cool now Next, we're going to uh, extract this. We're going to extract code from an image. So we're just going to paste it to a web search app builder upload. Uh, let, let's just save this one. So we're gonna save this image right here. We're just gonna put it on download. Save. Oh wait, that's not, that's the wrong one. We need the. We need something. Hold up. Save image as dot rsv. We need to find a code that has a JPEG file. There we go. PNG works. That's good enough. So we're just going to drag and drop this here, and we're just gonna wait. Or we can just upload from local files. So the SPNG upload files or folder. There we go. So this is the code snippet right here. Chapter two. You know, open chat. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, hmm. bear with me for a sec. We're just going to extract the file here. So you can extract code snippets from you know images and stuff. I think it's not working this time. I think we have to skip that one chat. So you can also get code from YouTube videos. So let's go here and let's go Python tutorial. Python for beginners, and we're just gonna copy something that's really really short. Six hours, four hours, introduction, concept. Uh, there you go. We're just gonna copy one. Copy link. Copy link in new tab. Okay. Then we're just going to paste it here. There we go. As you hear, there's the code snippet we have. We're gonna minimize that. So that's pretty cool. Open chat. Can you extract the code from this YouTube video? Then we're just going to paste it here. Okay. There we go. Skip enter. Choose action. Chat with image. You know, you can there we go, that's our extracted image. But we're just gonna uh take the code from here. There we go. Here the code snippet extracted from the image. Okay. That's not it. Videos. Oh we I think we can there we go. Uh videos. There we go. See, it can extract from the image, but I think it can't really do it on video. So it takes a lot more complicated, right? 
So yeah, guys. So you know, pros and cons of Black Box AI. It it works, you know, online only. So no no need to install anything. And extract codes from images and videos. Supports multiple programming languages. Can answer coding related queries in seconds. And you know, cons pre version has limited daily searches. Sometimes misinterpret handwritten or unclear images like before. And you know, requires an internet connection to function. So alternative to blackbox.ai is you can get GitHub, uh, GitHub Copilot. So that's pretty cool. A lot of people use this one. So you have uh, GitHub Copilot, and you also have Codinium and Tab9. So these are used in IDEs mostly. So you have Codinium. And you also have tab tab new tab nine, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, guys, so that's how you can use Black Box AI in your browser to boost your code coding productivity. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.